Welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. We're in the midst of October, in the middle of bear's hyperphagia period. Hyperphagia is a word meaning overeating, hyperphagia. The reason bears are going through hyperphagia right now is in preparation for winter. They're eating as much as they possibly can so that they can gain weight and survive periods of hibernation where they don't get any food. During hyperphagia, bears might eat up to 20,000 calories in a single day and might be foraging for up to 20 hours a day. During this period, it's hard to believe, but they can gain between two and four pounds per day. Because bears are in a mad rush to get fat for winter, this is the time when most of our conflicts between people and bears occur. So you can be bear aware by making sure all the bear attractants are put away at your home or your campsite or your ranch. Another thing you can do is be bear aware on the trail. Make noise, travel in groups, store your food properly at your campsite, and carry bear spray and know how to use it. In recent years, we've realized that a rich mix of those carbohydrates, proteins, and fats help bears maximize their growth and fat storage during hyperphagia. And what are they eating? All kinds of food. Bears are omnivores just like people, so they eat plants, animals, and fungi. Right now, some of the plants that they're looking for are berries, including huckleberries, choke cherries, buffalo berries, rose hips, elderberries, service berries, whortleberries, currants, and a lot more. They also eat the roots of sweet sicily, bistort, biscuit root, yampa, they eat dandelions, false truffles, and if it's available, army cutworm moths and white bark pine nuts. Also, any carcass is fair game to a bear. So remember, hyperphagia is all about survival. In fact, for a female grizzly bear, they have to get at least 20% body fat for them to sustain a pregnancy. So it really is about surviving that winter time and reproducing. Hopefully, when they're looking for these calories, they don't find them in people's backyards, at campsites, or any other human-caused food source. So what can you do? Make sure all of those attractants are put away. Our biggest offenders are usually bird seed, pet food, garbage. So while the bears are getting ready for winter, you can be bear aware by putting away bear attractants and being aware on the trail by making noise, traveling in groups, carrying bear spray, and being aware of your surroundings. Thanks for joining us for another Wildlife Wednesday.